Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon! Okay, so I need to do a little bit of explaining with what's going to be happening um, in the near future. Um, okay, uh, I don't think I should spoil it actually. Well, I'll just show you this, because we do have to do this. Okay, so originally this isn't a big deal, but it is for me, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, so what you want to do is yeah, sell this basically you want to buy a bunch of a whole bunch of attack items like a whole bunch like six of these and three of these maybe even one more of these um actually no that should be fine that should be good um let's see anything else actually we can sell if i have any attack balls or anything i got a recovery ball you know what, I am actually going to sell one of these. Um, well, poop. Poop on my face. Okay, now I also one of these by a breeze. Okay, that should be good. You know, I could probably even sell a Sun Rasphity and buy another Healing Breeze. Okay, now we're good. You will see why I am doing this later. Like I said, I probably should explain it, but I really should wait. Um, let's just, it has something to do with a certain glitch, if you know what I mean. That I figured out a way around. So happy about that. But yeah, anyway. And I also somehow got rid of the lines that go across the screen. Oh, one of those stupid things. I hate those. Yeah, like, you probably don't see the lines going up and down. I didn't do anything different. I'm still using the same chords. Uh, so I don't know what the hell that was. That's really weird, but I'm also ecstatic about that. Sorry there, just adjusting my mic. Okay. Now we need to go back to uh, Ladaria. Talk to the mayor. See if we can uh, do something about this water. This water gappage. Oh, don't be growling at me, cave. I'm just walking. Walking all peaceful lack. Yeah, there's a whirlpool there. Get your eye in the boots on. Uh, what is that noise? I don't know. What does it sound like? I'm guessing it's. Yes, we understand. There's something over there. There we go, Rose. Someone with actually common sense in the party. Oh, Miru. I'm sorry. You're like. What, who's that? Riku in the Thunderlands. Yeah, can't blame you for being such a wuss. I, I'm not scared. A dragon or two is nothing. Says you. How about you fight that face to face, huh? What are you gonna do then? I don't know, that bodes well. I mean, look at what all the other times we fought dragons so far. What's happened? Dragoon spirit. You think that happened again? Eh, probably, maybe. You know. It's not too much of a stretch to say that, I don't think. I try not to spoil, but is that really is that really a spoiler? Okay, so basically for this little section here we need to go talk to the mayor who is on the terrace, as I said before. Yeah, just go through here. And the boat awkwardly moves. I don't know how it's moving. I guess Dart has the mind powers. Like he has Jedi powers, but they're not regular Jedi powers. He only can move boats on water to certain places. It's a very stupid and weak power. So which one use the mayor? Sorry, I'm in the middle of something. Here we go. Wow, oh, sis. Oh, not again. Well, I got a good win. Let's take a break. And what do you want? Uh, well, we went to the prison island, but cannot go because of the flood tide, so we're wondering if there's anything you can do. Sid, the, the prison island? Are you serious? Do you want to commit suicide or something? Uh, no, we're pretty serious. We don't want to commit suicide, I don't think. Well, maybe Rose does, I don't know. She's a very depressing kind of woman. You could ask her, though. I'm not going to ask her. She'd probably kill me. Okay, so you can say a couple funny things, um, 
but he'll just yell at you, so just say this. Need to see the monster. You look serious. The appearance you are warriors, aren't you? I got it. I'll tell you. When it's up to you whether you can survive there or not. I closed the route to the prison island after the <gasps> after the burp came and attacked everyone to death. Why didn't you close the whole cave? It's really dangerous. Then we wouldn't be able to go to Fueno. That's why I chose to pass only to the prison island. Well, that makes sense. I mean, if you have like a super hot spring cure thing, why wouldn't you just do that? Oh, don't be so puzzled. I just closed the gate to the sea when the tide was full. Even after the tide ebbed, the water won't go down inside. Oh, my. What a, what a simple trick. Yes, Albert. So simple for your giant dumb brain. What are you laughing about? Open the gimmick gate. Got it. Huh. So that's what that's for. It's not just an elevator. It's to actually lift something. Hmm. That always confused me for the longest time. And like, because I'm one of those people that like when I'm in an area, I have to explore the full area for what it is. And seeing like an elevator or what it looked to be like an elevator, I was just like, just constantly around that area, just trying to get onto it. Okay. Uh, yeah. You want to go to Pete's house? Because you can swing around the right side of this and make it to the cave. Yeah, you probably... I don't. I forget if he just said that or not, but... If he doesn't, this is hang it there. You, which I'm sure you could easily tell once you got up there and you saw the little rock path. <gasps> Ooh, treasure! I don't think it's anything, really. Ooh, never mind. A healing range. Shit, that's something. And a healing fog. Oh, wow. Nice. Awesome. I didn't think we get those here, but I guess we do. Turn the lever! We've rolled here from Camelot. Where'd you get those coconuts? Excuse me? The coconuts! Where'd you get them? I forget exactly how that goes, but... <laughs> it's, a, it's a simple matter of weight ratio. A five ounce bird can't carry a one pound coconut. I love that movie so much. And boom goes the gates. Okay, so now we are able to go into the undersea cavern. At last! Progress! Sort of. Well, at least, I mean, that's our only lead. Got the sea dragon there. If there's anything about a dragon, there's usually a dragoon not far behind. Which again leads me to my point before. I mean,. It's not that much of a stretch to think that you would get a Dragoon Spear coming up soon. Uh, who's in my party right now? Rose. Rose, I should maybe have you in. Maybe so, with the maybe and the so. You know what? I guess I am. I'll keep you in. Uh, what do you got? Physical ring. Yeah, you're good. Wait, isn't there a hat for you? No, not yet. You got that, yeah, you're all set. And you're all set. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. For some reason, I didn't think I was equipped properly. Properly equipped! And Madness Hero is on, right? Yes, because I was doing it last time. Is there a humming noise, or is that just me? I hope there's not a humming noise on this. It's like, I got rid of the stupid lines, and now there's a humming noise. Ah, boy. This is going to be so annoying. I... Uh, Trying to remember what these are. And it's driving me crazy. What should I get rid of? Get rid of a mind purifier. What the hell not? I think it's an attack ball. Yeah, it's an attack ball. Okay. See, now I can't even show off the treasure because my inventory is friggin' full. Ah, oh, this is such a pain in the ass. Alright, well, we'll do my best here. Alright, I just disregarded the attack ball. Jeweled crown, nice. And I didn't even have to disregard the attack ball. This is for Rose, I believe. 
No, who is it for? It's for Shauna or Miru then. Yeah, okay. Sweet! That's definitely going on Miru considering never use Shauna. Couldn't pay me to use her. Well, maybe you could, depending on how much you paid. But, well, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah. You ever see that, that commercial? Well, I'm sure you probably have. It's on all the freaking time. That one Haynes commercial with Michael Jordan and the guy in the airplane. And he's just like, yeah, we're kind of like twins. He's like, no, we're not. He's like, yes, we are. He's like, no, we're not. And then he just kind of goes like, ah. That's like now how I'm agreeing with people now. I just do that. Ah. Hey, Tim, what do you think of my dress? Eventually I'm gonna just do it so many times people are gonna think I have some sort of like mental illness or something. Okay, we got a couple annoying enemies. Uh, the glares, if you don't fully kill them and you bring them down to like red, they have this status ailment attack, which I hopefully he just doesn't use right now. Come on, Dart, get your turn. Come on, Dart, get your turn. Thank you. Yeah, they do status ailment, they can do bewitchment. Bewitchment and the spirit and something else that's extremely annoying. So I basically don't like to. Well, he just got his turn, so Hashel should get. Oh, thanks for missing. It's tricky because you're like thinking when his turn is relative to your turn, and you don't want to like put him in red and then it's his turn run away because it's such a pain in the ass. And with only one mind purifier, I do not need him attacking me. That's gonna be a that's gonna be like a common scene with most of the enemies en enemies enemies with most of the enemies now is that when you put them in red, they're gonna have some sort of like really bitch attack. This is not fun. It's not fun. It is fun not. It looks like spider eggs in the background. I know it's probably just like that brought those rocks back there, but like that wall kind of texture. Oh, Ashel, nice. Where'd it go, bud? I knew you could do it. But it kind of looks like spider eggs. Maybe I've just been playing too much of um, Skyrim. I was gonna say Oblivion for a second. Now, recovery balls are weird. It, basically, they can be anything from like a healing potion to a healing fog. And you never really know. Um, I don't think they can generate breezes or rains, but I never really used them before. I just kind of sell them. I don't know why, but I do. Ah, and the mermaid! I don't think we've seen the mermaid yet. Well, I'm confused in regards. Yes, I'm eating an oatmeal cookie. Oatmeal raisin cookie, that is, to be exact. Mm, you're so good. I hate when you get those oatmeal raisin cookies, and they're like, oh crap, and they're like the driest things ever. That you have to like, have some, some moisture to it. Die, and not just die more, but die more and more. Die most. But that really should be. You're not grammatically correct, Rose. I'm sure she would slap me if she could. Or annihilate me. Okay, what is this one? I think this is a... Another attack ball, I think. Or a recovery ball. I know there's like two of the, one of those in here. Um, let's see. Yeah. What should I sell? Minor? I'd probably just sell that, but that's 200 bucks. So I really wouldn't want to sell that. How many recovery balls do I have? Just two. Didn't I get a third one? Just a second ago? Oh no, no, I sold one before and now I have two. Okay. Okay, Tim, just pick something, would you? Night Raid, whatever. It's not the biggest thing in the world. Gushing Magma. Okay, we could use another one of those. I'll be fine with that. We'll probably even have like one too many, but oh well. Actually, you probably can't have too many for what we got. Um, okay, this 
is not the main path. There's actually a couple cool treasures around here. Like you got that jewel crown, which is really good. And then you get another one, like in a little bit. All right, sweet. Um, so Rose just leveled up, and Dart got leveled up his uh, dragoon spear to level four. So, ah, crap. Again? All right, I'll find something, then I'll be right back. I got rid of my other sun rasputy. We're not going to be needing MP. Oh, yeah. See, there are two recovery balls, and I knew it was one of them. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So Dart, yeah, his level four dragoon spirit now, and he didn't get new magic. Um, like all the previous ones where you've gotten a new level up, there's been new magic. Well, not so much. He just got 20 more MP added again. Ugh. Okay, I just got rid of a potion that time because I figure, you know, with all the recovery balls, it's gotta at least be better. At least a, he a healing potion. You know what I mean? That's like the lowest tier one. Ah, these guys. <laughs> now, I'm in that part in Paper Mario where I'm fighting Tubba Blubba. This is what I imagine Tubba Blubba being. This is just like the fattest thing ever. I don't know how this guy walks around. Like, he moves. Like, look at that. How do you even move that quickly? You should just, like. Your ankles should be, like, snapping as you walk. This is an absurd amount of weight. It's like those people that like that you see on TV that are just like stuck to their beds. Like, how do you get up to like 1,300 pounds? Like, at what point do you just say, you know, 800 pounds? That's enough. Man, I can't complete addition for my life. Like that just is disturbing, almost. Wow, I really can't complete an addition. Oh, how dare you slap me? Actually, you know what? I really need to. Guard. Actually, this would probably be a perfect time to do this. Okay, I'm gonna just guard until I get full health and then I'll meet you back in a second. <laughs>